This here is a recap of my trades I took in Apple today, June 20th. First up, price did gap up. I had zero follow through, couldn't hold any strength above the eight period exponential moving average, which today ended up being uh, closing around 146.30. So bulls still haven't really been able to gain much traction. Yesterday's price action did imply that at least that there was gonna be some bullish follow through today. However, it is still below every significant moving average, at least for my purposes. Uh, we'll stay bearish for the time being unless we do reclaim 147 and a half with uh, a decent amount of strength if that happens then i have no problem switching over to the other side and taking some long entries be that as it may i uh, did get into the first dead cap bounce right here and some 146 puts made a nice gain took a little bit of a, an entry here didn't let this candle here set up for me didn't wait for a confirmation and as soon as i got in it rocketed right up on me took me out for a small loss Next uh, next top right here was another dead cat bounce, put in a lower high in relation to the initial move, which at least implies price action is gonna come down and test these lows. As it turns out, broke down through it and led to the price action we had the rest of the day. Really no bullish price action, no real bearish price action today. It did close on lows, uh, but there was no real strong trend. Later on in the day, a little bit after lunchtime, noticed the pattern forming on the 15 minute time frame which is called a falling three pattern. Basically, it's a succession of uh, strong moves down, two to three candles back up, and a strong move down, two to three more candles back up. Again, it's on the 15 minutes. So I will show that on a live chart here in a moment. Anyways, ended up taking a trade just after lunch. Didn't make too much on it. Made some profit, so it was at least worth the time. End of the day, kind of looked like it put in a breakout type of formation here uh, with an inverted hammer. Failed, tri uh, triggered any kind of stops in here for people that were uh, participants, excuse me, that were looking for a breakout above there and rode that down throughout the day. It ended up being a very good green day for me today here on Apple. Glad I had a bearish bias on the day. Now, the falling three method I'm referring to is a big move down, a few candles up, big move down, a few candles up, big move down, a few candles up, and, and so on and so forth. This is a bearish continuation pattern. It is not a reversal pattern. Um, it remains to be seen if there's going to be any follow through tomorrow. We did close today and make a new low in relation to today's price action. So that in and of itself is at least a, at least a hint that there's some still some bearish strength here. My plan is going forward tomorrow. Initially, I'll be looking for a breakdown here below 145. I'll also be looking for resistance entry around 146 and another resistance entry up here around 146.90 to 147 area, just corresponding with today's opening price. If it does get up through all those, I'll still sit here and wait for 147 and a half area, which corresponds to these previous two highs. Now onto the daily chart over here. It is in a bear flag pattern, which is not necessarily a reversal pattern, but it is a bearish continuation pattern. Now all it is is a straight move down, a form of consolidation, and another breakdown. The bad thing is this pole is $13. Flags do have measured moves, and if this does continue to break down and gets any significant strength behind it, this measured move could potentially lead to a $13 move down from that breakdown point. Now that $13 can be subtracted from 147 and a half, 142, or wherever it's noticeable that price action does break down from. It's, it's not an exact science on that. It's more of just a guideline to really look for where there may be some profit taking uh, occurring. Uh, this will be my trade plan for Apple going forward. Uh, 